Hello everyone, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks. I'm bringing to you the next video update for the e-commerce series for new e-commerce websites that we have created in 2012. This uses a new shopping cart system, so we felt it was necessary to create a, another video tutorial series covering this new shopping cart system. First of all, you should have received a username and a password from us in order to log in to the administrative side of your website. If you have not, certainly reach out to us and we can provide that to you. Now in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add, update, delete, and take care of your products in general. So first of all, after you log in, you'll hover over components and go to Virtue Mart, which is the e-commerce system, and then you have products and custom fields. These are the two things that we are going to cover in this video. Now custom fields will allow you to create drop down boxes in your products and possibly even charge more based on different attributes that the customers select. So for instance if you are selling t-shirts and you want to allow them to choose a size or even a color you'll have to set up custom fields or custom attributes in order to allow them to choose medium, small, extra large, uh, and then, of course, colors, white, black, gray, green, things like that. So first of all, we will need to create some custom fields before we start on the products, because if we try to go into the products and create one without any custom fields, it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and create a custom field, and then up here we'll choose New. And we need to give the custom field type here. Always make sure you choose Cart Variant. That means that will allow it to show up in the on the website for the excuse me the product itself. So cart variant and then title. This is what you'll make the title for. So this would be size. We're just going to make uh, a couple of shirts in this example. Published is yes. Make sure it is published. Cart attribute also needs to be set to yes as well. Uh, description. I'm just going to say choose a size and everything else you can leave just as is. So hit save and then we'll go ahead and create another one. Click on new and again cart variant and this is title of a color and cart attribute yes description choose a color and save. So that sets up the general attributes for the products and then we can go and create properties under those attributes and the products. So next we'll go ahead and click on products and as you can see there's nothing in here as of yet so we need to create a product so let's click on new. Uh, of course published is yes product SKU. This is a SKU number that you can assign to each product. It does have to be unique so you cannot have two products with the same SKU. So I'm just going to say shirt one product name shirt one you don't have to give an alias or a URL. Now the product categories, if you watched our previous video, we set up categories. So this is where you will select which category that you would like to have this product appear under. So click on this and then we have ebooks or drama. Of course t-shirts don't really go with these categories, but I felt that doing shirts would be the easiest way to show you how to do the product custom fields. So let's go ahead and add this just under the main ebooks category. Uh, we don't have any shopper groups and I don't want it to be featured so I'm not going to check that. Over here we can put the cost price. This is the actual cost price and the currency selected. So we're going to say $9.99. And down here you can make an internal note if you'd like. Of course you don't have to do that. Over here on product description you have two different locations. A short description is going to show on the actual category view. So if you have 10 or 15 products in a category, this is what is going to show up on that page as a short description. This is a test t-shirt named shirt1. And then down here in this product description, this is going to appear on the actual product page itself. This is the actual product description of shirt1. Again, I'm going to highlight all of that. Um, let's go ahead and make it Comic Sans. We'll make this 14 point and let's make it italics. Okay, so that takes care of the product description. 
Scrolling down a little bit, you have some search engine optimization settings. If you want to make a custom page title, a meta description, or some keywords, you can put that in there. Under product status, this is where you can keep track of the product status. If you are keeping track of your stock, you can put the number of them that you have in here. Um, of course, you can also put in some other information, what the minimum purchase is, how many is maximum. So if you want them to only be able to purchase one, then you can put in the maximum purchase quantity of one. If you want them to be required to purchase five of them, you can put in a minimum purchase quantity of five there. Availability date, you can choose what date this product will be available. If you select anything other than the current date, say July 1st in this case, since it's June 24th when I'm making this video, it will not allow them to purchase the item until July 1st, July 4th, whenever your actual availability date is. Dimensions and product weight. This is where you can set uh, the different products and the information that you need to. Uh, if you are charging shipping based on weight, you will need to put something in here. So one pound, two pound, you can also change it to grams, milligrams, whatever you'd like. So this would then calculate the shipping appropriately product images. If we go to product images, then we can scroll down here to the bottom where it says browse and then we can upload a picture. I only just have one picture here so I'm going to go ahead and use that one. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and see just what we have so far. So I'm going to hit apply. Okay, alright, the product has been successfully saved. If we come here to our test store, there's our ebooks category and here is shirt one. Here's the information that I described. This is the short description. This is a test t-shirt named shirt. You can see it doesn't show the whole thing. Now we can click on it. And there is our big picture that we added. Any additional pictures you add will line up under here and I'll add a couple more as well so you can see that. Um, of course and then after that that does show the the, excuse me, the category that it is part of and if there's any reviews on the product. Now, as you can see, we don't have any custom fields or attributes added because all we can do is add to cart. There's not a drop-down menu where we can choose color or anything like that. So we'll be doing that here in a moment. Next, I'm going to go back here to product images. In the event that you want to add more images to your products, you'll just simply do that here. So click on that, find your other picture, and then you'd apply it. And then if you have another picture, you come in here again, choose the picture, come up here and apply it. And then that will allow you to continue adding pictures to your product. If we come back here now, and if we refresh this page, you can see that now there's three images and they all appear as little thumbnails under the main image. If we click on them, then it does show the full size version. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's go ahead and do some custom attributes now, which is over here under the last tab that says custom fields. This is where you'll create a custom field type. So you actually have to click on it and then choose which one you want. So I want to do size and then size, I'm going to do small. The price, this is where you can change the price. If you want to actually charge less for a small shirt, you can put in negative $1. If you want to charge more, you can put in plus one dollar or however much that you wish to charge. Now for a small shirt, I'm not going to make there be any price difference. So again, I'll click on size, medium, so no price difference, size, large, still no price difference, size, extra large, and this time I'm going to add a dollar fifty because of the shirt size. Now I'm going to add some colors, so click on color and then I'm going to do white, no cost difference for white, and color again, I'm going to do a black shirt, and this one's going to cost a dollar more because of the overall fabric is more expensive, and let's go green, and let's add on a dollar fifty for this one, and one more color, let's choose red, and this is going to be two dollars more. So there you go, that's how you can go in there and add more uh, options to your products so that way you don't have to make one product for every single one of these you can just make drop downs where they will select what they want if we hit apply now and we go back to the website here and refresh and you can see there is choose a size choose a color that was the pro the excuse me the custom field description that we put in you do not have to put a description in if you don't like and then you can see here 
small no additional charge, medium no additional charge, large no additional charge, and extra large is $1.50 more. Just go ahead and choose extra large. And then here's the color. And then you can choose the color that you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and choose red. And then we'll add it to the cart. All right, so there it is. The product now has been added to the shirt. The original price was $9.99, and the price has went up now to $13.99 because of extra large and the color. The extra large, if you remember, was $1.50. The color of red was $2.50, so that makes an extra $4. $4 plus $9.99 is $13.99. So that is how you can add products to your site. Now, of course, if you're just looking to update a product, we'll save this and then go back to our main product location here. And it's just the product name is Shirt1. You simply click on it and it will bring all that information back up. And then you can come in here and product information. You can change the SKU, the product name. You can change the price. Basically, everything that we just set up, we can come in here and change. If you want to make it a featured product for a week, you can just click this box and make it an on featured. So if you have that installed where it will show featured products on the front of your website, then that would then make this product show on the front of your website. You can then come in here and change the description if you'd like. Uh, if you are currently out of stock or something, you can change the availability date. Uh, so let's just go ahead and change this, say July 20th and then product dimensions and weight change that again product images if you want to delete any of the images all you have to do is simply click the X here in the corner where it says remove image and then it will remove it from the product same with the custom fields if you want to remove any custom fields just hit the box over here that says delete so I'm gonna go ahead and save this product okay now let's go back to our test store ebooks and let's go in here, shirt one. And now you can see that that one item, or the, excuse me, the one picture is now there, and that's all. So that's generally how you can take care of your products. Uh, of course, if you want to delete them, all you have to do is put a checkbox next to it and hit delete. That does take care of the video tutorial on how to add products and custom attributes and fields to your. Virtue Mart shopping cart and your e-commerce website made by BS and Tech Networks. If you have any questions or issues regarding the creation, updating, or deleting of these items, certainly reach out to us at www.bsntech.com. Thanks again for watching. My name is Brian with BS and Tech Networks.